talk about Technanon's Micro TV 1C. Now because the instruments need to warm up for about 30 minutes prior to any usage, I'm going to go ahead and show you everything that you'll need to have on hand in order to do your calibration. The first thing that you should have is your calibration kit. Inside that calibration kit, you'll find five sets of calibration standards. There should be a 50, a 60, a 70, an 80, and a 90. Now 70 is your primary calibration standard, and on it you'll find five sets of data for brightness, as well as the color data RX, RY, and RZ. The other thing you'll find in your calibration kit are your traceability and your verification forms. The next thing that you'll need that came with your instrument is your black cup. And finally, just to verify that your swing and standard stays clean, we suggest that you have a cleaning solution and a non-abrasive, non-optically brightened cleaning wipe. Once your instrument is warmed up and you have everything together, we're ready to go ahead and get started. Our first step is to press calibrate. One of the great things about this instrument is that the printout is going to essentially give us step-by-step -step directions throughout the entire calibration. The first thing it's asking us to do is to load the black cup. So after we make sure that there's no contaminants on the inside, we can load that and we'll press scan. While that's scanning, we'll go ahead and get ready for our next step. Because 70 is going to be our primary standard, we could go ahead and take that paper clip off and we'll hold on to this printout since that's what we'll be using in our next step. Right now it's asking us to input brightness values. Since we're going to be calibrating to the first position, we're going to input those corresponding brightness values, which are 74.19, and then we'll press print. Next is asking us for the RX values. Once again, we'll use those first values for RX, which are 89.85. and press print. RY, which is 87.10, and RZ, 73.63. If your instrument is like ours and it's equipped with the ERIC option, you can go ahead and input that calibration data now and press print. Our next step is to load our standard. We're going to fold back this back cover sheet to expose our calibration standard. Since we're calibrating to the first position, we're only going to load it just to this front edge. We'll load our standard, and you can use the chrome plate as a mirror just to check the alignment and make sure that you have everything positioned properly. Once you've loaded your standard, you can press scan. Our next step is to evaluate the swing and standard, which we'll do by loading the standard and pressing scan. Now this can be used on a regular basis to calibrate your instrument between the primary calibrations. You're going to get a printout of your swing and standard results. We suggest that you keep these numbers on hand for future reference. Finally, in order to verify measurement linearity, you'll take the last four sets of verification standards and you're going to measure each of the five positions. You'll take the average of those five positions and compare it with the average on the printout. If those numbers are within plus or minus 0.3 of each other, then that's great. If they're not, or if you have any questions, you can refer to your Technodyne Operator's Manual, you can call Technodyne, or you can check out the website.